Hi my friends. I've got something quite extreme to show you today. I've got a few red papaya here. Well these four. Actually that's a homegrown one I've got there. That's a um, Hawaiian gold. I'm just sitting there with the other ripe papayas to help ripen it up. It still needs another couple of days to be ripe. Uh, but this is something different today. This is some extreme eating. I'm going to start with a papaya. This one should do. It looks about the best. It's quite ripe. Nice ripe red papaya. This is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> this is the first time I've tried this camera angle. So I'll see how it goes. This is my desk here. Where I work on my computers and I watch TV from here too and eat as I'm going to do now. And it's the 6th of April 2021 and it's just still raining, raining, raining outside. It's just every day, it's just heaps of rain. No end to it. Yeah, I'm going to show you something quite different, or different for a lot of people today. Yeah, not for the faint of heart. It's I'm going to eat this papaya with the seeds intact. I have heard of people that eat these things with the seeds all the time. Okay, so people do it. People eat these things with the seeds eat it whole all the time but it's quite an extreme taste and I think like a lot of things you would get used to it eventually you would get used to it and you might even get to like it the seeds you can say it's quite peppery it's quite peppery actually even you can dry the seeds and um, make a, a kind of a pepper out of it to add small amounts to foods my guess it's got, is, is it's got some strong ingredients in it. My feelings is it may not be too good to eat all the seeds all the time. That's my feelings. But I don't know for sure. Again, I've, I've read and heard about people that eat papayas with the seeds all the time. Papayas, especially the reds, are a fantastic food. Um, I've healed myself a few times over my life from some very bad injuries and ailments with by eating a lot of red papayas. It's an incredibly good food. Like you've seen that red fermented red papaya ointment, right? That people use for cuts and and uh, various skin problems. Well, when you eat papaya and it's, it ferments inside you, you, you've virtually got an ointment inside you that is just incredibly good for healing your internals. Stomach, intestines, bowels, just incredibly healthy. But with the seeds, now that's another story again. And believe me, as far as I'm concerned, it's no fun. <laughs> it's no fun eating these things with the seeds but you never know like after a period of time I might get to like it but it, this is extremely good for parasites getting the bugs out in the Western world we are very ignorant of parasites you know you'll see very few doctors will talk about getting the parasites out of you and, and yet if you've got a pet it's a priority isn't it if you've got a pet you, you're strongly encouraged to get the parasites out of them but the average doctors and that would tell you if you're a human you don't have to worry about parasites well, well that's just not true there's some health experts in the world who believe parasites is the cause of all disease and it's a very interesting way of looking at things. Everybody has parasites. And there's just so many different types of parasites. 
And for instance, look at every good athlete. All the good athletes, they know to deparasite themselves regularly to keep themselves in top condition. And a lot of people, their, their poor health comes down to the fact, I'm sorry to say, but they are riddled in parasites. You see, there is a number of cultures in the world, some of the more traditional cultures, they take parasites very seriously. And they have parasite programs as an important part of their health regimes. So I'm just, I haven't written anything down here, I'm just sort of going to flow along and try to say some interesting things and pass on some interesting information for you. Personally, I feel I've greatly improved my health. I'm nearly 60 now and, and during my life I feel I've greatly improved my health by taking parasites seriously, by trying to debug myself, deworm myself and not with doctor's medications of course but with different herbal things and just coming back to some of the basics really things like garlic and chilies you know, they've been things that have been used in in dishes for a very long time or in, in certain cultures around the world and they're very useful for helping to get the bugs out and I had heard about using the eating papayas with the seeds and very good very useful for getting the bugs out and I've only tried it a few times and I found it extremely good extremely good for getting parasites out so uh, I'll start because this is going to take some wh a while this is quite an effort I've found I've only done it a few times and I, I eat papaya and the seeds together and I make sure I chew up every seed thoroughly and I find I can feel a bit on the nauseous side doing this it, it's um it's hard work it's like um it's determined eating it's not eating for the the pleasure or the enjoyment of the taste <laughs> it's it's eating to get the bugs out it's it's eating for good health it's like taking your medicine even though it doesn't taste so good but you know it's it's going to be good for your body recently actually as you probably know I got very sick from food poisoning almost two years ago and I still haven't recovered there's a lot I'd like to say about it but I've already put out one health orientated video and YouTube banned it <laughs> so I don't want to be banned on YouTube so I've got to sort of tread carefully around certain subjects because YouTube's my boss I want to get along with YouTube so I don't mind being controversial but I don't want to go so far that YouTube bans me <laughs> so oh, and, and that's no laughing matter actually I don't want to be banned so but anyway I'll start eating these things Oh yeah, I was going to say, since I've been sick, um, I, I hardly burn any calories. I can hardly do anything. My lungs are so bad, it's mostly hit me in the lungs. I'll just briefly, oh, I can't even say that really. But, but yeah, it's, my, it's hit me in the lungs. Oh, I've got to say it actually, like the, um, the, the doctors sort of made me worse. <laughs> and, and, you know... Ugh. That's all I'll say for now. Any, anyway, I found I, I, for a while there I put on weight for the first time in my life because I'm just burning zero calories. I spend most of my waking hours just sitting on my butt. I was starting to get a bit of a gut. I was starting to, and it was more of like than just fat. I was sort of getting a clog in my intestines. And I've never really been fat around the waist. And, and I've, my intestines have tended to be, you know, I've never really had clogs in my intestines either. Well, never for any long amounts of time. I usually put it right by deparasiting. And so I, th and I, I thought it's time I try the papayas. I've, I've often used garlic and chilli and, and parasites are really... Anyway, I'll get started. <laughs> The parasites are a word I like to use. 
parasites are opportunistic survivors. You know, they are smart and they are tough and they adapt. And yeah, recently I was reading a one parasite expert who was saying that she, she's even got evidence of them surviving in sump oil. Parasites. See, they will adapt to anything. Okay, so it's good to mix up your parasite formula. That's where I was heading. Like I've used garlic and chili a lot, and I've probably used it so much the parasites are getting used to it. So it's it's time to change to something else. And what I'm changing to now, and I'm finding it's working very well, is the papaya with the seeds. So anyway, here we go. My first mouthful. It is getting easier because I've done it a few times already. So even as it gets easier for me, it gets easier for the critters as well. So really, it's good to go hard. Even if it does make you feel sick and feel lousy and nauseous with these different things, um, within reason, it's good to go hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bit hard to talk now with a mouthful of papaya. <laughs> and chew every one of those little seeds. They're sort of hard to get to. The crunch every one open. But yeah, I was getting like a bit of bloat in my gut and a bit of a clog. So I got into a few of these things. I was having about I only did it about three times, about three nights before I went to bed, had about this much, and whoosh, everything just got everything out, just cleared the blockage. Because you've got two things working here actually, you've got the um, papaya enzymes, which are brilliant, at breaking down food and clearing up, clearing, cleaning and clearing everything up inside us, then the seeds. And I find not only the seeds are like very strong flavoured and hot and peppery, when you chew each seed down and crunch them down as small as you can, they're kind of sharp. They are kind of sharp, so I think even that is really uncomfortable for the parasites. I think it sort of, you know, cuts into them potentially. Hmm. But it's, it's, no, don't, don't fear that much. It's not that bad. But it takes some effort and determination. Because the papaya, for instance, is, is delicious. It's yum. And the seeds, well, there's a whole different taste. The seeds are quite strong. And, well, not nice. But I can see, like all foods, you'd probably get to like it after a while. If you did it long enough, if you're determined enough and did it long enough, you'd probably start to think it's alright. But by then, it's time to find a new parasite formula. Because the parasites would probably start to think it's alright too. Because <laughs> that's how it works. Still chewing that first mouthful. Takes a lot of chewing to get every seed. There's some seeds here not quite ripe, unfortunately. And that's because this is a commercially grown red papaya. And they pick the damn things too green, so they never taste as good as they should. But anyway, these are not too bad. Now 
would imagine depending on how parasite infested you are will play a role in how difficult it is to eat these things too because the bugs will just start fighting back or just having a hard time dying off and they die off inside you even that sort of that dumps a load of toxins into your body as well but yeah I think essentially you yeah, don't fear and go hard then they're not going to kill you but you might feel a bit that way <laughs> But yeah, they're not going to kill you, within reason. The thing is, papayas just are a super food. You know, and I think it's good just to trust. Just to trust them. There's hardly anything on the whole papaya plant that is not extremely beneficial. Even the leaves will, will stop malaria. The leaves, the leaves boiled into a tea. But these seeds are some of the more superior deparasiting substances there yet there are apparently and I can see why yeah because it's hard going it's hard going and I find yeah I feel a bit nauseous even they start to make me feel a bit sick and they're so peppery, my nose starts running and everything. And it's quite a struggle. Oh, well, yeah, they're quite hot, quite peppery, and bad luck bugs. It's, it's not your lucky day, critters. Critters inside my tongue, they're in for a rough time. And I think ideally it would be best to eat these first thing in the morning, have one of these with seeds, and last thing at night. Because you don't want to give them any food to eat when you go to bed. Leave this as your last meal so it really just pushes through and gives them a real hard time while you're asleep. If you eat something after when you go to bed, well that that'll that can sustain the parasites for longer, so but I, I haven't done that yet. I've only been having one a day. Well I did it about for about three days in a row and it was amazing. It really was amazing. It finally got the bulge out of my gut. You know, my gut just thinned down again. Got the bloat out because there was a, like a blockage of critters that were in my gut. And and everyone gets it. Like don't don't um you know don't be embarrassed about it. If, if people think they if people never deparasite themselves and think they don't have a problem with parasites they're absolutely kidding themselves it's everybody gets them they're everywhere the eggs are everywhere we're picking them up all the time and that's why it's really important to regularly give yourself a parasite cleanse uh, i'm inclined to think at least every six months um, I, i've left it much longer than that though at different times in my life but it's something I take seriously and it's not necessarily fun like this is not eating for fun or eating for enjoyment or pleasure this is um this is eating to get the bugs out 
and uh, yeah, it's no fun. Yep, how many is that though? That's about three or four mouthfuls. Whoa! Mustasa, you know when you get that like, it makes your whole body have a bit of a shake? It's like, whoa, it's wild, eh? Oh. I'm going to have to speed this video up. I'm realising just how long it takes to chew each mouthful. You know, each spoonful of this, it takes a long time to, to gr chew every one of those seeds up. It's no use wasting your time swallowing those seeds whole, they're not going to do anything. The idea is to chew those seeds right up and they sort of become a grit. They sort of turn into a very peppery grit. In with the papaya as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to speed this up. I think this could take me... Oh, I'll try and tell you. I'll, um, I'll write it down in the description anyway how long this video actually goes for without being sped up but my guess is it's going to be about an hour it's going to take about an hour to eat these things it's, it's yeah it's slow going to get every one of those little seeds and yeah, it, it, <laughs> if you ask me it takes guts and bravery <laughs> uh, some might say easy and say I'm a wuss <laughs> and others just won't be able to do it because I don't know because it takes guts and bravery <laughs> it takes de determination to be healthy and just takes a knowledge of just knowing that we've all got bugs we've all got bugs in us and most people these days, they've got a bloated gut, haven't they? And there's a few reasons contributing to that, but one of those reasons is parasites. And a lot of people have weight issues. Well, a lot of those reasons too is a lot of the contributing factors for weight issues is parasites. There's critters in their gut. And they end up with so many critters in their gut, and, and they all those critters are screaming out. They're screaming out for food. And people are often they're just feeding the parasites. There's all so many different types of parasites, but one of the things they like is sugar. You know, so they're screaming out for sugar. They want all sorts of junk foods, and parasites tend to like crap foods. But there's a lot of people in the health food community who will say that if you eat really good foods all the time, like of course fruit and veggies, that's pretty much the best food you can be eating, is, is raw, organically grown fruit and vegetables. That, te that tends to make most people extremely healthy. And there's a lot of people in that community that feel parasites won't bother them. Because, you know, they go through the, the belief, clean the terrain. Once you've cleaned your insides out, you've got rid of the parasites. Well, personally, I think, oh, there's a lot to that. That is a lot of the answer. But the parasites do thrive in garbage. And meats, things like that. They love all that sort of stuff. But... Again, like I said at the beginning, parasites are opportunistic survivors. They will survive in anything. So really, I think whatever you're eating, whatever you're, you're into, a pa regular parasite cleansers is really important. Yeah, it's just something you've got to do. 
because you know or there's a thing there's sort of these theories in organic gardening that, that claims insects won't attack the healthy plants you know well there are things I heard when I was very young and starting out gardening and 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 again to a degree to a degree it's true but it's not an absolute truth no way again parasites bugs all those little critters they're opportunistic survivors and if they're hungry they're going to eat whatever they can find and you can have a perfectly good piece of fruit or what should be a perfectly good piece of fruit and it can be just riddled in bugs in parasites so and the, so the same applies for the terrain the insides of our body it doesn't matter what you're eating those parasites are going to learn to adapt to it and they can quite easily build up into huge communities of unwanted guests that slow you down and there's so many side effects from parasites because um, your people are literally living on the excrement of the parasites they're eating food and those parasites are pooping out that food and that's what a lot of people are living on to varying degrees you know and without a doubt you'll be you'll enjoy much better health with a regular parasite cleanse and doctors poisons are not the ideal it's the best way to go is with herbs and there's all different types of herbs and and often though the, some of these herbs can be a bit toxic which um to kill those bugs it'll make you feel pretty bad too it can do as it's killing them depending on how many you've got in your body and in your bloodstream they get everywhere they get in your brain they get in your bloodstream they don't just get in your gut and some of the more forward-thinking doctors are just beginning to catch on about this stuff but most of them tend to be just in total denial about parasites again it comes back to you de-parasite your dog and your cat but you well you don't have to worry okay you've got a huge gut but oh no mate it's got nothing to do with parasites you're in fine health you're as fit as a bull you've got this huge gut but oh like well that's normal is it normal no it's not normal there's something wrong there can be there can be other reasons too but but parasites is always one of the reasons <laughs> we're well, usually always one of the reasons parasites and there's people that say it's you know, it's not so much diseases and viruses it's parasites get rid of the parasite you get rid of the disease These are some of the things some health experts say. And I think there's a heck of a lot of truth in it. Okay, time to munch some more. And I'll speed the cam up <laughs> so I won't go for too long. So what I'm like I'm, I'm about a quarter of the way through <laughs> there's a bit of a struggle already yeah but about a week and a half ago I did three nights in a row and it was tough but I felt great I've just had quite a marked improvement in my health 
and you get bloated gut, that's the main thing, it's gone. I was starting to get an itching anus. You know, <laughs> it's embarrassing to talk about, but that's why a sign of parasites as well, especially at night. If if your butthole starts to itch, well that's that's critters. It's critters, man. It's bugs. But yeah, so yeah, I just had three before I went to bed, three nights in a row. I had one about this size and just huge improvement. Felt a lot better. And then I sort of couldn't source the right papayas for a week and a half. Now I've got a few, so I'll give it, a, I'll hit it again. And uh, perhaps I could do it better. Perhaps I should take it more seriously too. You know, like I'm saying, I should, it's, it's good to go hard. And maybe I'm not going hard enough. But you have to sort of be aware of your body too and watch yourself. Like some people can be so infested in parasites that they can slaughter a heap of them and it's just such a dump of toxins onto their body. So you've really got to watch that. If it's too much, you've got to realise if, if it is too much of a dump of toxins slaying a whole heap of parasites, well then maybe you do have to back off a bit. Because, um, yeah, it's hard going. Yeah, you're, you're taking, because, you know, essentially, it is kind of a poison. You, you're taking poison to kill the bugs, you know, and it's going to kill the bugs, and it doesn't make you feel so good either. It's, it's sort of, essentially, that's the story, you know. But all foods are poisons too, to varying degrees. And we get used to it. That's why it's good to have a well-balanced diet. Because just eating anything for too long can have its downsides. And it's good to um, mix it up, have a variety of foods in your life. Actually, the talking is helping me because it's sort of giving me a rest in between mouthfuls. I'm not going as hard as I was the first few times. I'll just say keeping the bugs out improves a person's appearance as well because being in parasite infested makes people ugly it does just even their not just their body bloating their body out and stuff like that but their face even you, you can see it often when, when you get better at picking it people who do have a lot of bugs in them and, uh, but I can say the same for eating lots of fruit and vegetables too. It really does help with people's appearance because it makes people healthy. And when you're healthy, you just look better. And the same applies to parasites. You know, well, when you've um, when you're not parasite infested, I think I think it's safe to say most people, especially in the Western world, are parasite infested. Because they're in complete denial about parasites. And complete lack of understanding of the importance of, of um, getting parasites out. And that's, that's why some cultures are into spicy foods. One of the reasons of those spicy foods is to get the bugs out. To clean the bugs out. Yeah, and as I said, it's good to mix it up. Like, uh, this is what I plan to use for a while. I'll see, you know. I might even use this from time to time for a few years. But, um... 
within reason it, it, it'll there'll be a time when it'll be time to change to a new formula because you know, out of the parasites that are surviving uh, will be getting immune to these seeds Well, there was a time I had a wormwood plant and that was quite amazing stuff and when I first started eating wormwood they'd say eat three to nine leaves a day of the wormwood bush and that plant's illegal too by the way although I'm not sure if it still is and um, oh yeah they make a very um, oh I just can't remember the name of it they make a, a um, uh, uh, an, al uh, an alcoholic drink out of Wormwood actually and it was one of Vincent van Gogh's favorite drinks for instance I just can't remember the name of it oh maybe someone in the comments can mention it but yeah Wormwood's amazing stuff and when I first started on Wormwood the first leaf was just absolutely oh it was just so difficult to eat it just one leaf of Wormwood but I had that bush for a few years and after a while it was a cinch to eat. I could eat three or six or nine leaves, no problem. And I even got to enjoy it because that's what happens. And, and yeah, the wormwood is kind of addictive. It it's, um, becomes very nice, even though it's very bitter. They say, they say there's, um, in some countries you can get wormwood lollies. And I imagine they'd be very nice. They'd be a combination of sweet and bitter. You've got a lot of sugar added, plus with the bitter of the wormwood. And I reckon they'd be great. Yeah, I got quite used to the wormwood. And I imagine my parasites eventually did too. But, yep, it was a very good herb for getting the bugs out. And I've gone hard with chilies and garlic too in the past. There was a time I ate half a bulb of garlic every day for years. And it gave me huge amounts of energy. But it made me stink too. <laughs> that's why the main reason why I finally gave up eating it too as a matter of fact. But again very good for keeping the bugs out. I had a European friend who would eat an entire bulb of garlic every day, an entire bulb. And he was incredibly healthy when I met him in his 30s. I was sort of in my 20s, he was in his 30s. And he'd eat meat, but he'd also eat a lot of fruit and vegetables and a bulb of garlic, an entire bulb. Not a clove, a bulb. A handful of cloves every day and just had enormous strength and power and could work really hard on his farm yeah so I copied off him and I was eating yeah well yeah I might have done it for a couple of years about half a bulb most days and I think that really slayed the bugs gave the critters inside me a hard time And then there's times I've gone hard with the chilies too. The chilies are another good food that really slay the bugs. And I just eat raw chilies. I just get those hottest birdside chilies, get a whole heap of them and cut them all up small and, and just eat the whole lot. With no other food, just have a handful of it. Have it first thing in the morning, last thing at night, sometimes even in the middle of the day. to get them critters yep now even lung problems can be related to parasites so just in case mine is I don't or well mine is other things without a doubt but well um it's possible some of my lung problems could be parasite related so I'm making extra sure 
and some of my other health conditions. Could be parasite related. So yeah, with these lungs, I got these bad lungs. It's very important I watch my diet and watch my health as best as I can. Take it very seriously. If I want to live, that is. You know, because the docs say I'm not going to live. And that's the story with um, what I've got, COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or whatever they call it. Most people don't live much more than about five years when they're diagnosed with it. And I've been diagnosed with severe COPD. So essentially I've only got a couple of years. And I'm going to prove them wrong. You watch. <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah, most people with COPD die within five years of being diagnosed. And a small few can stretch their lives out to about 10 years. A small few. The most die within five years. And severe COPD, well that's another story, you know, your days are really numbered. Well, nearly halfway. Whoa. Whoa. So yeah, now I'm starting to feel a bit nauseous. I'm starting to feel a bit like chucking up, having a spew, and you just got to hang on to it. You know? Not too extreme, but yeah, feeling like not too good in the tummy, feeling a bit sick in the tummy, because it's just bombarding them critters. Them are critters. Whoa. Oh my god, it's really hard work, eh? Whoa. And it's just starting to get me in the nostrils now. My sinuses are starting to leak and I need to blow my nose because, like, it's just. Whoa. So that's another thing, it just started. Mucus starts coming out of my sinuses where there was none. It's, it's, I'm starting, it's starting to clean me out already. <laughs> Whoa, and you get that shake and cringe, you know what I mean? Where it sort of puts shivers down your whole body. Whoa, and I'm starting to think I can hardly take another mouthful, hey? Whoa, oh boy. And I've been going slow too, actually. I'm, I'm better hurry up. I need to hurry up or I'm going to run out of video. I get about an hour and a half, or sometimes a bit more, of filming here. And... Oh. <coughs> yep, the mucus is starting to get moving in the sinuses. <coughs> yep, I'm going to have to eat faster if I want to show you how I finish this. I'll speed it up so it doesn't. You don't have to watch for a whole hour. And... 
an hour and a half, but whoa, man, whoa, this is getting me pretty hard this time, actually. Whoa, well, lucky I've got a little bit of um, papaya here with no seeds. <laughs> That's my little reward for getting through that half. I've eaten half with the seeds and oh, it's going to be nice to just eat this little bit without seeds, believe me. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's like banging your head against the wall. It feels good when you stop. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to the other half, eh? <laughs> Oh, I'm not looking forward to it at all. Oh. But I better hurry up so I don't run out of video. Whoa. Oh my. Oh. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it actually. Oh, I hope I don't fail here on video while you're watching me. Oh, I better watch my, what I'm saying too. I can talk myself out of it. You know, a lot of it is mind over matter, isn't it? And you just do it. You do it because it's important. You do it for your health. You do it because you want to be healthy and live a long time. That's why you do it. You wouldn't be doing it for any other reason. And yeah, it, it, like, it, it gives me diarrhea basically too. Like Those seeds, when you chew them right up, it's quite gritty. And uh, you notice it the next day. When it comes out. And it just, you can see it just gets any excess muck in there, in your intestines. Now we've got so much intestines, and so easy for foods to get trapped in there. And then critters grow in those foods too. And this stuff, like with the papaya enzyme, and these seeds, it just, it really cleans you out, hey. It really does. It's really good to give yourself a good purge. Whoa. No, I better stop complaining. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to run out of video, too. I'm nearly out. Dang. I'm going to be out of, out of battery soon. Dang it. Although, I wonder, I'm just very close to the power cord here. Maybe I can put it on the recharger and just keep it rolling. I'll give it a try.
that might just work, hey. Here we go, testing. Well, I'll be. I think, I think it's not going to run out of power now. The little battery sign on the screen has just disappeared. It's the first one I've ever done this. So the camera is still recording, but it doesn't show battery anymore because I've got it hooked up to the cable and switched on. So maybe I can just keep rolling. Hope so. Fingers crossed this will be good. It gives me a bit more time to eat this thing. Whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is extreme eating, folks. the nose a bit more. Actually tonight by coincidence some of my friends were just talking about how this, I, I was planning to do this anyway and I was just trying to dwell on, just focus on what I'm going to talk about. I don't know how good it's going to be. Maybe I should have written a script. So I, I did get distracted for a few hours too by friends and that sort of breaks my train of thought. But um, I did see some friends talking on Facebook about doing, saying about the need sometimes to do extreme things for your health. And yeah, this is one of those extreme things that is very important for health, I believe. And another person was talking about as an extreme, he, he's a vegetarian, or he's a vegan even actually, by the way. And next thing he's talking about going on an extreme meat diet going from vegan to extreme, just eat meat and nothing else to save your life. Well, I don't know about that. That's one, that's an extreme eating I will never do, okay? I don't know if there's any benefits in that. You know, there is people that talk us to claim there is, but, um, well, that's an extreme eating I'll never do, okay? And you see some of those TV shows where people eat all these ghastly things. Well, I'd never do that either. I'd, 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 never, I'd never win those TV shows because there's a whole heap of those things I would never eat. <laughs> but this, this is extreme eating. Let's see if you can do this. Because <coughs> oh. <sighs> I can. <laughs> And I can eat large amounts of chilies, and large amounts of garlic, and large amounts of wormwood, wormwood herb, and Ooh. oh, this is hard. Oh, I better again. I better stop psyching myself out. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it for me. For my health. Time to go, bugs. Time to get out of me. Yeah, chewing every last one of those seeds, just chewing them right down to grit. Whoa. Yeah, and the idea is go as hard as you can. Go hard. Catch those bugs by surprise. Because they're tough. 
they will get used to it quicker than you if you're not careful hey so you just got to go hard and get them get them critters If you're too weak and go too easy on yourself, you're just never going to get the critters. I remember once years ago I met this guy. I claimed how he got sick eating one clove of garlic. I thought, oh man. And he wasn't very healthy. He was a real weak, sickly guy. I thought, geez, you know, if one clove of garlic's going to knock you on your ass. Well, you, know, you wonder, he's like, there's not much hope for him. Whoa! Yeah, don't, don't just chew each seed, chew it down to grit. Chew it so it's really four small, fine particles. Whoa! So you get the bare, very best, you get every bit of that seed. Oh. pain. Oh. Okay. Oh. Need another tissue. I've just filled one tissue up. <coughs> oh, I notice my lungs are starting to get some mucus in them too. <coughs> So what do they call that when it gets the mucus out? That's another good sign, clearing the mucus. Oh boy, I do not feel good. Oh, but it's not that bad, I'll live. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk myself out of it, I just got to do it, I'm nearly there. Getting closer. Oh, I've passed three quarters. Whoa. Oh. 
my tongue is starting to burn now because it's so hot those papaya seeds so hot and peppery oh I'm feeling a little oh, tiny bit dizzy in the head oh, it has affected my consciousness for sure whatever it had exactly done but oh, my body is under stress oh and mucus is quickly building up in my sinuses and my lungs Excuse me. <coughs> It'd be better if I can get this lump of mucus in my lungs. <coughs> Got it. <laughs> no, I didn't just turn into Jekyll. <laughs> I just got a heap of mucus. Better out than in. Well, that's two of these things filled up and blowing my nose. Here comes number three. That's a fairly big sized tissue, isn't it? Okay, where was I? Nearly there. Oh, I'm going to make it now. I'm nearly there. Almost there, wow. Mm. Yeah, I was talking myself out of it at one stage. Gotta be strong in the mind, man. Strong in the mind. Oh man, oh. oh boy, nearly there. Well, my body is starting to heat up too now. It's a fairly cool night, but I'm starting to feel hot. Hmm. Hope you can understand me talking with a mouthful. I'm serious, very beneficial for your health. And, and there's people out there, this is how they eat papaya. There's people like in cultures, this is how they eat papaya, with the seeds. Every time they eat it. I can't understand it myself. 
you'd think no self-respect and credit would get within 50 feet of them. Oh, no self-respect and parasite would come anywhere near them. Whoa. Uh, nearly there, nearly there. Whoa. Sure gonna feel good when I get there. And I can finally stop. <laughs> oh, so yeah, what's this? One hour twenty-five minutes, almost an hour and a half of this torture. Whoa. Food extremism. Yeah, my sinuses are getting quite mucusy, hey. Whoa. Nearly there, only about two more mouthfuls to go. Three, three, I'll probably get it in three, huh? Whoa. Okay, onwards, onwards we march. Oh boy, almost, eh? That's just about the last teaspoon, spoonful, <laughs> more than a teaspoon. No, we're going, that's the last bit. Oh, that's the last three seeds there. Whoa. Now I'll get a little bit of nice pie without seeds there. Whoa. Okay, I've done it. Almost. Just got to get this last bit. Didn't think I was going to get there for a moment. Just got to get determined. Get determined. Ta da! Okay, done. I've swallowed it. Oh, the last spoonful. Oh, oh. oh man. Oh, it's hard to put that nice, friendly ring in your voice after all that. <laughs> oh. It's hard to do anything with that moan in despair. But I've done it. I've done it, folks. And here's my reward. I'll give myself just this little bit of papaya here without any seeds. Hope the bugs don't climb up and sit in that as it goes from my stomach over the night, during the night when I sleep. <laughs> Hopefully they won't have a chance. They won't get through that other stuff. Oh. Oh, that last mouthful just sort of refreshes my mouth. Oh. No. Well, 
I can definitely tell you, my friends, that was absolutely awful. Oh, that was horrible. It really was. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Oh, that was terrible. Actually, after the first, I've done it a few times now, and when I started, it wasn't so bad. Because I've done it a few, I was a little bit used to it, but oh, jeez, you know, to finish it, to have it eat all that, oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, oh, that was bad. Yeah, I got a lot of mucus coming out of my nose, and it was one of my fourth piece of tissue. A big square of tissue paper. My tongue's still burning. I don't feel all that nauseous in the stomach, actually. I was feeling more nauseous earlier on. Oh. Well, there's a lot of heat in my mouth. Oh. Oh, from those seeds. Because, yeah, they actually they dry those seeds out and it makes a very interesting pepper, apparently. Dry it out, grind it, and just add sprinkles over food. But, yeah, it's very peppery and more. There's more to it. <laughs> and when you chew every seed up into fine little bits, it's quite, sort of quite gritty. You know, even though the seeds are moist, but once you've chewed it into small little pieces, chew it down as small as you can, it's quite gritty. And I imagine that it really scratched the parasites as well. It'd scratch them up. So it's not just burning them, it's scratching them. And, you know, and there's more stuff in there too. Whoa. And I, uh, I guess there's toxins in there too. You know, but like I said, there's toxins in just about everything, really. <coughs> it's the poisons and toxins that are killing the bugs. I imagine. But, you know, don't knock it till you've tried it. It's um, a very highly esteemed way to get rid of parasites. Yeah, and like I said, if you really want to get serious, I'm probably going a bit too weak on it really, but if you really want to get serious, I should be doing that now, is starting first thing in the morning, do that, and then do it again last thing at night. But yeah, like I said a couple of weeks ago, I found I got good results just doing it three nights in a row before I went to bed. So, but even then, it's good to get back to it like I am now. Because as they say, you know, you can get rid of the parasites, but then there can be the eggs still. So, you know, I'm, whether I got rid of all of them, probably not, you know, but I probably got rid of a lot of parasites. Um, like I said, the, the bloat in my gut is just gone. It's been there for months and months, and it just got rid of the bloat in my gut immediately. And um, so I, I think, without doubt, it's it's cleared blockages, and there, of course there'd be quite a few parasites in there. And and then next time around, then there's the eggs. So that's why it's good to get back at it again. So, you know, if I had more papaya, I would have gone harder, but I just had trouble sourcing the right papayas. But it's still, you know, I think what I've done is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I've given them a good hard hit, and then I've come back around again a week or week or about a week and a half later and to get the, get the um, eggs and get any remaining critters 
and I, I do intend to do a fair bit more of this actually that's my plan you know you saw at the beginning I've got three or four more papayas there I plan to eat all those with the seed and that's all I'll be having today though but again I'll be having at least one every night before I go to bed for the next few days at the very least and uh, I'll just see how that goes you know, I think it's it's working very well I think it's living up to its reputation okay my friends Ugh. that's it for now and and I, I lay down a challenge to you can you do this I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few in the views who'll just say I'm a wuss <laughs> and they can do it real easy I'm sure there is like okay okay but you know how many of you can do this oh, I, my guess is most of you you can't do this <laughs> let's see prove it to me the papaya and seed challenge let's see who can do it eat papayas with the seeds that's the challenge and you're only going to get benefits I promise you you're going to get benefits from it you're not going to drop dead or anything you're going to wipe out a lot of critters you're going to get a lot of bugs out of your intestines okay my friends I hope you enjoyed it so what have we got there? It's 1 hour and 36 minutes. Whoa, and I was talking for about the first 5 minutes, wasn't I? Or longer. But yeah, that's about, that took about an hour and a half to get through that. You know, to chew each mouthful of seeds right down the grit. Oh man, just talking about it makes me feel ill. <laughs> I'm so glad it's over. Yeah, it's about a one and a half hours of torture. <laughs> Food torture. And, uh, yeah, but it's all for the best. So, thanks again for watching, my friends. Hope you found this interesting. And uh, don't forget to subscribe me. Click on that subscribe button there on the bottom right of the screen. And I don't know how much more videos like this I'll have for you. <laughs> Probably not many. But yeah, I hope to pull out a few interesting things on you from time to time. Something to make you think, perhaps. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, my friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>